beautiful welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is alexis jada and welcome i'm finally getting back in the groove of doing a makeup tutorial so i thought let's kick it off with a foundation color pop sent me a package it's new this is their pretty fresh pressed face powder a creamy pressed powder for an effortless skin like natural finish this multitasking face powder easily blends into the skin with a light buildable coverage perfect for wearing alone to set makeup or for touch-ups infused with sunflower seed extract and cucumber fruit application for light coverage use a fluffy brush for more coverage use the pressed powder poof so they sent me shades medium 12 11 and 10 9 8 7 just kidding but I'm excited, I already prepped my face. I'm not really huge on foundation powders, but I thought it would be fun to try it, see if it does anything. I think on this one, let's do this. That's not, <laughs> that was perfect match. Okay, I'm gonna go over. Oh, I didn't put no concealer. I should have put concealer, but I didn't. Okay. It gives like a medium coverage, which I'm cool with. I'm just gonna do half and then you guys can see how half looks. I hella did it over my lip right here so it looks like shorter. Oh my god, you hella got your eyebrow too pinch up in the front. Make it make sense. I would probably use that as like a all over. I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. So let's go in with the brush. Maybe with the brush, I'll like it more. So here's the brush. So, foundation. No foundation. Foundation. I can see a little coverage. I can see a little coverage where it's like, okay, okay. Now let's go on this side. Definitely makes more mess when it's a brush. I think I'm just used to like full coverage y'all or I'm expecting it to be like, bam! you know what I'm saying? Like I can definitely see like the line right here. Do you see? This isn't covered, this is covered, but I'm definitely used to a liquid. Like I'm used to a liquid. I know some people, yeah, the brush ain't really doing. Like the brush is covering, but not as much as I want. Grab a little bit more. See, it gives good coverage, but not full coverage. Or maybe I gotta go darker. 11, let me go in with number 12. Let's use it on this side. Does that make a difference, y'all? Maybe I should use a brush. Like, it feels nice on the face. I thought I put my skin enough. Like, I did prep my skin enough because it's not even, like, blotching everywhere. I think I'm just not used to this kind of look. Leave some tips and tricks, please, on how to properly do a face with pressed powder. Please. It doesn't claim that it's a foundation, though. It doesn't claim that. So, I just got hyped with it. So it says a face powder, creamy pressed powder for an effortless skin-like natural finish. This multitasking face powder easily blends into the skin with light, buildable coverage, perfect for wearing alone to set makeup or for touch-ups throughout the day, infused with sunflower seed extract, cucumber. I definitely see that there is some coverage. So I'm gonna go wipe this off and then I'm gonna show you guys how I would do, how I would apply it with just that. So I'm gonna go in with some primer oil. And we're just going to prep our skin just washed it so we gotta just add some back in color pop so i'm gonna use the color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation this is in the shade 100 w i'm gonna go in with a foundation brush going to just blend this in i have to do tapping motions and then go to it in there careful when you go underneath your eye area don't tug down just do lightly tap So, just for those who want to see how the foundation covers, I love how well this foundation covers you do that boom in your face. So yeah, if you guys know a good way, or if this is even a good one for foundation, and let me know. We'll see how it looks over this though. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look good once we put it over this. Just cause like how light it felt and how fluffy. It looks good. Now we're gonna go in with the ColourPop Good and Copper. This is the blush. I had to add a lot because it's going on pretty sheer. Same brush, and we're just going to just pat that in. For concealer, I am gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend. This one is a bomb and always on sale at Walmart. This one is in Golden Amber, and we're just going to add just a little bit of it. I'm going with the foundation brush and just doing tapping motions. Going to go in with Soul. Same. 
same brush. All right, so now we're about done. So I wanna go in with that powder. We will use 12. I think 12 is the one that fit me the most. For my under eyes though, I am gonna use something lighter. My sleeve is so dirty. How did that, did I just do that right now? Pick up some of that powder and just kind of just press it in my face. We'll do one side to see if we can see a difference. Can you guys tell a difference? This side versus this side? It looks a little bit smoother. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a nice finishing powder. So here's my face with the powder. It's just foundation, no powder. So I think it'll be a good finishing powder. See, and this is how I want the powder to look without me having to put foundation on. This is a big one. See, this would be a good one to use. I'm just gonna go back over. So I'm gonna add some bronzer real quick because I feel like it's not complete without some bronzer. I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Bronze and Tan. Then I'm gonna use some blush. This is a J Cat Beauty Blush Mellow in Dolly Peachy. Such a pretty blush. I freaking love this thing. Okay, you guys, I honestly think the powder gave it that really like filtered effect. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see up close. I have not set my face yet. So here it is up close. Like, it looks so good, especially like around my pore area. Like, it looks really good. All of this, like, look how good that looks. Like, look at that. Look how nice that looks. So I freaking love how it came out. My face looks really nice, buttery, smooth. Mm, it just looks like butter. Look at it, so nice. Definitely try it out, especially for like all over the face after your foundation, it looks super freaking nice. If you guys have any recommendations on how to prep my face or how to apply it with no foundation, definitely let me know down below. I would love to try it out. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys have any new products you guys would like me to try out, leave them down below and I would love to put that out for you guys. I love you guys so much. This is Atholos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So I really like how it looked. Look you guys, I've been wearing it for a couple hours now, just on top.